just in case you want to build one yourself. Here is the main ingredient, HP C7000 fans. Uh, there are two different styles available. An older one with a 50 volt motor inside. Uh, let me see. Yes, that's that one. And the newer one with a 12 volt motor inside. <coughs> And you can see the difference by looking through that opening. Uh, well, maybe it's better to open it up. I have already removed the screw here. That's the old version with the 50 volt motor. You can see here this DC DC converter. It's even written on it in case you don't believe me. 12 volt input. The output is about 48 or 50 volts, thereabouts. Uh, the new version has thicker cables. Uh, it, has, it doesn't have a, a heat shrink tube all along the cables. It doesn't have the, a plug, it's soldered here. What you see from the outside is, uh, as I said, the thicker uh, wires here. And we have a, a, a tiny board here, this tri-wing board here, which is not uh, which is not there on the old model. The, K, uh, the, the wires go directly in the motor. So this is something you can see from the outside if you're not sure which model you have. Or you just open the case and you see it. Uh, the new uh, PCB is much simpler. It doesn't have the, the big DC converter. Don't, it has the same chips in the front. So it's completely compatible with the old one regarding the uh, connections here. So if you have a C7000, you can flip the two, take one out, put the other in, no problem. They have the same part numbers or the same, uh, where is it? Spare number here. It's the same for both. The, different I the difference is uh, the vendor code is uh, different. Uh, now I'm not sure which one. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, that's the one with the big opening for the soldered version. That's the one that has only a tiny slot here for the uh, old version. So the new version is vendor part number, well, you can read it by yourself. Also the generic part number has changed. So this one is the old 50 volt motor, vendor part number, generic part number. Uh, the difference is if you have the old one, I would recommend you to use the board that is uh, inside the case, that board here. Uh, there are two jumpers you have to solder on to make this uh, fan blow some air. The newer one uh, could be used when you desolder the three wires. And then you take an RC motor uh, controller from, a, from an RC, RC, RC shop like Hobby King or something. It must be a, a motor controller that is able to supply 12 volt and about 20 amps. Uh, if it is stronger, no problem. The motor itself takes about 15 amps. That makes around 200 watts. Well, uh, the jumpers I mentioned for the old model, they look like this. I have here two pictures. Uh, 
Well, and the rest is up to your own uh, fantasy. Build whatever you like. That's it. Thanks for watching.